maybe we can do like a video of me raiding places. <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest. You want to taste it? I, I want to see if you agree or not. Did you choke with that? No, that's why I'm giving it a I'm sorry. Good morning! You see the flowers here? This is our last day that we are in Chenggu. Feel like... Yeah, yeah looks up. Oh, show an effect. This is, I think, the third or the fourth day. I want to say fourth. Honestly, I think we've... Even though it's, it's super, super nice and I could stay longer here, I feel like we already saw the majority of the things we could see. Sure, there are still some markets that we could go to, but like we can't go because it's in the weekends and we are not here. But other than that, I feel like we've seen the main streets, we've seen most of the shops, we went to the beach, we skipped the beach clubs. So that's something we could still do, but are not gonna do. Yeah, we're just gonna spend our last day very chill, relaxed. I think we wanna still go to some interior shops and obviously, eating because that's all we do walking and eating we are now here at a cute little spot and it's called take me this is literally located on one of the main streets so it's extremely extremely busy but take me is like a small grocery store with some natural foods but you can also have a croissant coffee lunch breakfast etc but it's like super tiny i'm like super color coordinated today that never happens so i'm a little bit i want to say proud but i don't know if it's a proud moment i have almost a matching color bucket hat and also shorts on i got like a iced matcha latte it's going to be a chill day and i'm gonna take you along with me oh that's a very soft soft matcha and also I feel like it makes such a difference if you have matcha with oat milk or like regular milk I feel like oat milk really adds something special to the taste whereas regular milk makes it just boring it's okay I would give this one out of all the matchas I had probably a 6.5 if I'm gonna be honest you want to taste it I, I want to see if you agree or not no that's why I'm giving it a 6.5 I'm sorry maybe we can do like a video of me rating places <laughs> I'm just trying to be honest I know some people say oh you always need to be super positive and stuff I am still being positive it's just um, especially if you are on YouTube I would say and you're recommending things to people at some point people are gonna you know count on what you are saying and then they're going to invest time and maybe even money to go to the places that you recommended and you said it was nice and if it's not if it's just a lie and people are doing that just because you said so then I think I think that's not fair and it's a bit wrong so I always try to be honest with my reactions and my my review honestly I don't think this is the best matcha I had and Miguel also doesn't really like his iced coffee so this place is going to get a 6.5 they have like bowls baguettes and other things on the menu that I haven't tried maybe they are really good in those things so I don't know pricey in terms of or maybe it's the same i don't know the iced coffee was forty-five thousand, and the matcha i honestly don't know but i'm expecting also 45 maybe even 50 let's wait on the receipt it's funny because matcha here is actually cheaper than coffee anyways the matcha was 35 and the coffee was 45. let's go to another place Thank you. 
We actually never came to this side of the street while well, it's literally our own street. But wow, they have like a Whole Foods supermarket here with like a lot of delicious food, but also super natural. So if you're looking for a Whole Foods, I will link it down because I think it's, it's a very beautiful store. Like, look at this. All the fruits and stuff. They have a lot of juices as well, but also nuts. Like you can you can take out your own nuts. Isn't it super surprising? that a lot of things in stores are actually cheaper than what you can find on the market. So we went the other day to Love Anchor. It's like a market where it seems to be, you know, more affordable because it's a market. A lot of stuff have like the repeating same things. So it feels like you can negotiate, etc. But I think because only tourists come to that place and the name is a little bit well known, literally wooden coasters were double, three triple the price of what we just saw in the store. So that's that's like crazy. Uh, because usually a market is cheaper than actually in store. We are here to try bun mi. In Vietnam, we don't say bun mi. We say bun mi. And bun mi is like a Vietnamese soft bun with anything you want inside. It's so tasty. Oh my god. Mm. It's really, really good. Because indeed, it's like sweet because of the caramelized onions but I think the tofu is also marinated but also like the fresh taste of cucumber and coriander oh. wow it's really really good I just found this bowl bar. There is no ventilation, so I'm dying a little bit. Ban Min was for me to try, and that's something that Miguel had for breakfast, so I was really looking for a bowl. I have to say this bowl is again a little bit more pricey than the bowl I had yesterday, for example. And that one was delicious and also quite a lot, so I'm, I wonder how this one is. This one was 82,000. The reason I was doubting if this would be enough, also sorry for my hair, but as you can see, like, I don't know, I really thought that these would be super, super tiny, but oh my God. I don't know if you can tell, but these are humongous. Like this is, this is my head. If I would rate this, I would rate this, I think, 7.5 or an 8. Just because I know on this trip in Chenggu, I had bowls that were more delicious than this one. The granola that they use is very plain. And the other places where I had granola on top, it was really homemade and a little bit more tasty. Other than that, it's like a good bowl. So that's the reason why I'm giving this one like a 7.5. I can't even see myself. Ah, it's really bright. One second. Okay. We actually swam a little bit because the other days, every time we wanted to go back home to enjoy the last bits of the sun, 
we were always a little bit too late actually so you would go back around three sometimes even i think around 3 30. the sun wasn't shining on our pool so you couldn't really enjoy it. so this way it was really better because we escaped the heat in the afternoon and just went home swimming now a quick outfit change i actually bought this in bali at one of the shops and i think it's it's cute so we're going to eat something and the grab is already waiting for us right now. I swear, I think this is the first place that, that we found that has five out of five stars with the refuse. And it's not like they have 10 refuse. They have 210 refuse on Google and they have a five out of five. So the expectations are really, really high. So according to Miguel, it's super hot. Oh yeah, it is really hot. I am usually not like a huge taco fan. It's like pulled beef, so not really minced beef. Let's dip it in the sauce. I don't know what kind of sauce this is. I think if you're like a taco lover, it's really good. Like it needs to be minced. I'm a little bit of a picky eater. But other than that, the overall taste is very delicious. It's just, I don't like the structure of the beef. I don't know if you can tell. I would give this place an eight or eight and a half, which is still pretty high, but that's, that's because it, it really tastes good. I just finished. In total, I had 18 pieces. First of all, the price was insane. Per sushi piece, it was like 50 cents. So you order either per four or per eight pieces. And it was like literally four euros for just eight pieces. And I'm not talking about basic avocado rolls. It's like katsu rolls with avocado and crunch roll, crunchy rolls, etc. So all those special rolls were, it was really, really good. I like if I have to rate this, no joke, it would be like a 10 out of 10 or a 9.5 out of 10 because every place has some improvements, obviously. The best. I really, really liked it. Extremely filled as well. It's very tasty and very, very delicious in combination with the good price. This is a win. So the design of the building really catches your attention, but we never really entered. And now on our last day, we came to this store, which is called Nalu. I think I have, I, I think I picked the wrong one. So I went with forest cherry, which is tastes like a chocolate cherry pie, which is actually really delicious, but I wish I picked brownie instead, but it's, it's still very delicious. If I would have to wait this place, I would say 8.5 because they have a lot of flavors and combinations, special flavors. And not every place has these flavors, so that's the reason why. They give large, if like one scoop is like a whole cup, you get the real value for your money. It's a nice environment to sit in. It was just really delicious. Okay, we're back home and I'm going to pack because tomorrow morning, 
We are leaving to the airport. I really need to pack. Wrap is already ordered. It's scheduled for tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. I think we went to a lot of spots today. Mainly also super random spots, not per se the ones that we found on the internet or thought, oh, this is super popular, we need to go here but more like just whatever we saw on the road. But I think we found some really great spots and I hope you liked this video and I'll see you in the next one.